Hi, welcome to this tutorial. We have uh, finished with phase four, meaning XORX installed. Um, well, we're in VirtualBox, so no drivers for graphical drivers. And we've also installed LightDM, that's what we're looking at. But we do not have Awesome installed yet. So there is nothing, no session available here. So whatever I type here, my password will not be able to fail to um, start a session. So it's failed. How do you get past this then? Well, in VirtualBox, you do Control and then F2. And F2 is TTY2. If you press soup, the right control and then F3. Sorry, that's a wrong button here. So Control F3, then you have TTY3, Control F4, and so on. F7 is again our uh, graphical session. So F2 is the one we need. I'm going inside with my own personal uh, login and then I'm going to install awesome minus s awesome and vicious both of them we're going to need if we want to have a similar look as on article Linux D awesome so if we reboot <coughs> And we see what we get out of the box. So if we have a vanilla installation, then we will get light DM. We say, hi, I'm Eric, given the password. And thus, this is our vanilla awesome thing. So right mouse click gives us a menu with some hotkeys, gives us a manual. It gives us a edit configuration mind you it's not your own is etc xdg restart quit and open terminal that's it and you have here nine workspaces that's it this is your look some us so the keyboard the time and whether you're tiling or tile left and tile button and that's it nothing more and nothing less now we need, of course, to be able to, well, have a nice menu, to have all our applications and so on. We would like to have our Arco Linux D awesome configuration in a vanilla Arch Linux. So, right mouse click, we open a terminal and because of the buttons here, it is changed to um, a full size version. And that's a good thing, but I'm going to install anyway let's see okay we have a problem so i still am in in uh, qwerty so i'm gonna say that my layout <coughs> my layout should be azerty so that's good now what i was thinking is installing xfce terminal xfc4 terminal like so why because the xfce terminal gives us the possibility to edit here quickly appearance go to number 15 select you don't have monospace probably and close so you see we have here a very strange way of showing the text. Um, we definitely need to install a font to be able to see more. So the font issue, <coughs> we need to install something more. So you just uh, check out keyboard that you type correctly, sudo, because we almost can't read it, sudo pacman minus s motto fonts with a dash so we have the notto fonts installed now we go to edit preferences appearance and you start typing up here notto mono we need a mono let's take uh, medium and let's see what we have i guess that's very readable for now so we have a uh, way to to change these these elements here we have now the possibility to read everything and we go ahead we have already 
a 30 minus s we install git because we want to get our Arco Linux elements. We go to our github.com Arco Linux with a D Arco awesome. I will have to wait. If we get this login and password when you ask that, then you did the typo. So you type something wrong somewhere. So CD into the Arco Awesome gives us this um, these things to run. So as always, you start with some number zero and we decide the course. So we have four cores that we have now uh, we're using if we are building from AOR. Number 100 is no need to do it because number 100 is installing LightDM, it's there. Installing Awesome, it's there and Vicious is there. So no need to do this, but we definitely want some music later on. So the sound is going to be installed. Then 120 is going to be Bluetooth if we need it. You can install it. If you want printers, you run 130. And if you want to share your files with somebody else on the network at home, then you need to run this one. But it says, hey, you forgot to install a application named wget. Then you can rerun 140 and then it wants to know my name and my password and SMB is set. So Samba. And 150 is to find other computers in my network. So, LS, all the hundreds have been run. Number 200 is a longer one and number 300 is even longer. So what is it, what, what should you do? Well, let's go to another um, workspace here. And we can, for instance, maybe we can, let's see if we can do an installation on workspace one and one on workspace two, you see, could not log, uh, log the database. So it's just because the other uh, page is working here that we can't install anything. Just wanted to show you that um, when, when we open a file manager, you can take a look at uh, the files in a, well, not in a terminal way, but in a graphical way. But Stuna will be installed shortly. Because we rely on this file manager, Tuna, in our awesome system, we could use Emo, Nautilus. So um, I just want to edit also the file because a script is something you can edit, it's something you can change. So if you see, hey, I don't want this Firefox browser, then you put the hashtag in front of the line, it will not be installed. If you're missing software, then you need to copy paste the line and say, okay, I want that software and that software and add it to the scripts. And next time around, you'll have a perfect script the way you want to install Arch Linux. So it was uh, 200. A longer version is 300. So this 300 thing, I want to do something first to just give an example. And also because I want to spare us some time if you take a look at this thing here, Discord is, is great and it's our way to chat with you guys, but it takes us seven minutes to install. So I'm gonna say not this time, not in this tutorial. So control save, and that's how you change these things. And when you run now 300, Discord will just be skipped. So we're installing the Lua, the Conky Lua for the shortcuts when you come into the awesome for the very 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 first time you see a conky with all kinds of shortcuts so you know how to exit and do things let's pause the video here 
Well, let's check it out. 300 has been installed. Now these guys are a little bit uh, shorter. So 400 is being installed right now. Like so. So let's do an LS again. So there are arch repo things, there are AOR things, and there are repo specific things for either from, um, from the repos or from the AOR. So this one, 500, is going to be the one from AOR, like so. And then we are at number 600. Now I'm gonna make the mistake. 600 says, hey, what do you want to do? You want to install stuff that is not from Arch Linux, that is from Arco Linux. So what we need to do is do an LS maybe first. CD Arch Way. So there's a folder on your system, on your GitHub now. And in there we have a uh, four elements and the two first are the ones we need because Yaourt is already installed and that's 30 and 40, so that's not necessary. But we need to trust the key from Eric Dubois. And that's now done. And we need to add the Arco Linux repo. And that's done as well. So sudo pacman minus sy. And then you have these two extra lines that are in there. Arco Linux repo and Arco Linux repo.sign. Now remember we are in, in the folder archway, so we need to go back up and then we can run number 600. And now he knows where to find the Arco Linux repo and they are signed and the key is uh, in order, so everything will be installed. And one of the things that we really need is going to be the awesome configuration that's now already downloaded and will move that one into the .config file. Now ah, the font has been altered. So we have here, that's okay. So let's uh, quickly change this back to what it was. So because of the, the copy paste here, we have a mono, we have a difference. Okay, so, all right, Alice. So 600 is done. 67, let's uh, install the fonts with 700. Not of fonts is already installed, so he's going to skip that one. But all the rest is going to be installed. Now 710 is only for uh, the fonts from the Conkeys, but you can of course use these fonts as well in GIMP or Inkscape or anywhere. So they can be useful for other things. Then we have the auto login. Auto login is if you don't want LightDM to say, hey, who are you? What's your password? You run this one and it wants to know your name. Then it says, ah, doesn't work because group auto login does not exist. So I'm going to say, okay, if it does not exist, make it then. Auto login, no typos allowed. And then do it again. My name is Eric as login and there you are. I will now auto login and LightDM will not ask who are you. The number 900 is not necessary because I'm a virtual box, but if you see on an SSD or hard disk, you see a microcode error, then you run 900. And the 910, we can use this one to make sure that everywhere I go, I move my mouse, I'll have my Cursor Breeze Snow, that's an option of course. And 920 is to give me the grayish, sardi like Obelogout icons. And 930 is telling, hey, give us a beautiful lock screen rather than the red one. And that's that. We've installed everything. There's still the personal folder, but let's first take a look what we have all right, uh, right now already. So everything is installed but there will be probably issues because Arco Linux and that's what we're building this up upon 
So we'll need to figure out stuff like this purple reddish thing, for instance. Now I figured it all, all already out. Uh, so super shift return gives us a beautiful uh, color, but I can't even read it. So super return gives us here the terminal, which I was a little bit difficult as well. So maybe the right control F2 is maybe the best solution. And then we are back into the TTUI. Now, the issue is the Compton. Um, Compton is set and will work everywhere except it seems on VirtualBox. And we need to change something. So, nano, we go to our home directory. You can also type home, Eric, and so on. That's the same as selling here this tilt. And then dot config and then awesome and then in the here we have a compton.conf and that's the one that's giving us the issue and the thing is he's using a backend as glx if we say forget about glx do try x render control x yes save and then sudo reboot let's see if that is the reason why we get all these lovely colors which we did not decide and there you go so it's definitely a Compton issue um, and then it's um, well next tutorial is about having fun with uh, Arch Linux awesome and see if we need to do some changes all right